Hey there, it's Jim from Janku with another GIMP tutorial. I was looking around on the internet and I found this pretty interesting tutorial for Photoshop where someone went and they removed the fence from the, the top of an image and just left the dog in the background. And it was a pretty cool effect, so if you're into Photoshop, definitely check this video out. I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea to cre recreate this video in GIMP using the GIMP tool. So uh, I'm going to take a look at doing that today. The first thing you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to add a third party plugin called the Wreath Synthesizer plugin. You can get that right directly from github.com and if you scroll down on the page right in the main readme there's some installation instructions. Since we're using Linux we're going to use this Linux link here and if I click that I can come in and I can actually go and I can download the files here and then I'm just going to say save this and then as it downloads I'm going to untar this file by double clicking on it and I'm just going to extract this and I'm going to put it in my downloads folder and I'm going to click extract. Let me just open this up again so I go to my downloads folder. Okay great so here's the files that we just downloaded and extracted. Now I was having a little trouble installing this at first so uh, there's a couple things you're going to do on your Ubuntu system in order to get this to work. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to change all these files, even these Python script files, so that they're executable. And we can take a look at doing that real quick. Let's just see here. So if we go into our downloads folder here, so uh, on my computer, it's this tilde means your home screen. So my user is Jimmy Fisk, so it's going to be Jimmy Fisk's download folder. And if we look at the files in here, and let's zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. We have all these files, but you can tell that the file permissions do not have any executable permissions, which would be this little X on any of these Python files here. So we could actually come and we could say, well, let's, let's, chama, let's change the permissions here so the user has the executable on all the files within here. So I'm going to just run that real quick and then let's list these files again. And now you can see the colors change so it kind of indicates that they're, they're executable here and you got the little star. And you can also see that there's an X on each one of these file permissions. So these are all executable files now. So I think we're good to go in that regard. Now the second thing I had to do here, and let me show you some of the posts I was, I was Googling around. So um, some people were getting some errors when they're starting up GIMP through the command line and uh, other people were having trouble adding the heel select tool. So uh, essentially you need to make sure you have the GIMP Python package installed which is optional I guess with newer Ubuntu releases. Um, and you can see that the same thing happened here so uh, doing a sudo apt install GIMP Python seemed to work for them as well. So let's come back here and let's just install that system wide. So let's make sure that we have the updated apt packages on our computer. So I'm going to run sudo apt update. Okay, once that's set, then I'm just going to run sudo apt install and I'm going to run the GIMP Python to install that package. So now, after we have this installed, when we drag the files from our downloads into our actual GIMP plugin folder, this should all work. Okay, so I think we're okay there. Let's go back to GIMP and let's go to Edit Preferences. And under our folders here at the bottom, there's a folder called plugins. If you click that, this shows you the installation uh, locations on your computer where you could put plugins and they would appear in your system. So we want to choose the top level one here, which is specific to our user. It's inside of a hidden .config folder and then GIMP 210 and then the plugins folder. And there's actually a nice little shortcut right through the GIMP interface to open up this folder. So if I click over here on the right hand side, there's this icon that says show file location in file manager. If I click that, and then let's just switch over to that. It opens up that exact folder on my computer with plugins selected. I'm just going to go inside that folder. And then if we go back to our downloads folder, we can control A to select all these and just drag these over into our plugins. Great. So now that's in the correct location on our computer. We can get out of these browsers. And so I'll just show real quick. If we uh, restart this, our plugin will show up. But right now, it won't be in there. So if we will go to uh, filters, enhance, and you show the filters that appear over here on the right hand side, we don't have the heel selection, which is what we're looking to do to actually remove that fence from the image. So there's no heel selection filter here, but if we come and we restart GIMP, let's just close out, 
and let's open it back up. If we go to our filters now, under Enhance, you'll see that there's a, a few more filters here, including the heel selection. So we're at a really good starting point for going through and trying to replicate this Photoshop video in GIMP. So let's go back over to our Firefox browser. And the person who uploaded this video was nice enough to actually come in here and add the image to the description. So we can click on this image and then we can come and we can just download this. We'll say, we'll save this image. And then if we go to our downloads, we have the image there. And then we can just drag this over into GIMP. So let's just drag it in there. And we have a good start, starting point for our project. So this is a, a nice high resolution image. You see we're only at 12% zoom here. So we could actually zoom way in and we can start recreating the image. So I'm gonna take a similar approach to what the person in the video did. I'm going to right click on the right hand pane and I'm gonna create a new layer. And now that we have this new layer, we can come in and we can start drawing over the fence. This is a little bit manual process, uh, but it's a replicating what we saw in the last video. So let's just go through that now. So we're gonna cl click our paintbrush tool. We're gonna make sure we have a nice solid hard brush here. And then we want a brush that's sized appropriately so it's a little bit larger than the fence. So it just covers essentially that whole section of the fence. And then we're gonna just draw over all these sections in the fence. So I'm gonna start by clicking on the fence. And then if I hold shift, I can draw a straight line over to the section to basically cover the rest of the fence here. So I'm gonna hold shift and I'm going to click. And then if I wanna make sure I cover this part of the fence here, and then I'm gonna kinda of do the zigzag. So I'm gonna cover this bump out and then I'm gonna draw down the rest of this line here. So again, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click somewhere about here. So that covers that whole edge on the right hand side there. It's okay that this one's not covered yet. We'll, we'll get that when we come down the other direction. But now we're set up to kind of come down this other section here. So again, you can control click right to about the edge here. Make sure it's covering everything on that side. And then we can come and we can do the same thing. We can control click that way. And then you can continue doing this down the whole fence. So I'm gonna go through this process. I'm actually gonna speed it up on my end so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this manually. But I'm gonna come down this edge here and then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna actually come down this, this opposite side edge as well. And then once we have everything covered, we can make a selection out of this. So I'm just gonna go through and do that real quick right now. So in sections like this, I'm gonna actually zoom in. And since this leaf is appearing over the image, I, I don't wanna actually draw over this. I wanna keep this as part of the, the background that's gonna stay. So I'm actually just gonna draw around this. So I'm gonna click again. I'm not gonna shift click. And I'm just gonna kind of draw around it like this. So I might do something like shift click to here. And then I might you know, click again like this and then do a shift click down to this section here. So you can get a little bit, you know, you might wanna uh, shrink your brush, brush a little bit. So right now we're on size 30, maybe we'll bring this down to 15 or so, and then we could draw a little bit in here to, to get better coverage of removing the fence. We, again, we wanna make sure we're drawing over everywhere the fence is appearing so we can make sure that that's getting removed. So you could draw on something like that if you really wanna get the edges a little bit better. Um, it depends on how much touch up you want to do after the fact once this is all uh, drawn out. So if you want to do less touch up, uh, the more accurate you're drawing here, the better. Okay, so I'm going to go back and continue on this journey at a brush size of 30. And again, so this was kind of taken directly from the other video. Um, great advice, by the way. So there's some of these uh, chain link uh, actually have a bend to them. So you might wanna do something like draw it in multiple selections. So you can you know come down halfway like this and then do another selection to here. Sometimes that's helpful to get a more accurate uh, bend with the fence.
So for, for this kind of thing, it's kind of a judgment call, right? So, I mean, if we remove the fence and we leave this, this is kind of just a floating thing. So we actually might want to come in here and we might want to not only remove the fence section, but we might want to draw over this little section as well. So um, I could bring my brush down to a smaller size again and just we'll do the same thing that we're doing with the fence. Essentially, we're just going to come in here and we're going to draw over this section. I'm holding down shift so I can get those lines, but I'm just clicking uh, closer together so I can kind of follow the curve but not have all the jagged edges if I was completely trying to freehand this. So I'm going around, just drawing this, getting it kind of close, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna lift off shift so I can start a new segment. I'm gonna click down here and then I, I'm gonna sh hold shift from there. I'm just gonna draw around this little section like that, and then maybe even maybe even that section in the middle as well. Okay and maybe that dot right here and there's a dot right here great and then just finish up this segment here and okay so we are about halfway so i've done all the fences uh lines going this way now we're just gonna have to go the other way this is a good reminder to save the progress of your work so i'm going to save this as and i'll just save this on my desktop and save just in case anything were to go wrong we can at least come back and start off where we were here So now it looks like I kind of did a sloppy job on these right here. So I might even go back and just after I'm done with this section, go redraw those a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and just retouch up a couple of these. So for instance, I'm gonna create a new dot here and then just make sure I get that line like that. I'll create a new dot here and just get something like that. Maybe even a little more on this one, like, like, that even and then maybe just this one a little bit here as well okay that looks a little better it's also a balance of zooming in enough so you can see what you see the lines you're drawing but not zooming so much that you can't really uh see where you're going so sometimes it gets disorienting when you're this zoomed in and so for instance like at a section like this so i just draw this section here and i'm ready to scroll to the right but now when I scroll to the right, I can kind of lose my place sometimes. And a good way to find it is I actually just hold down shift so I can see where my last node I drew was and then I can kind of figure out where I am. So that's a hopefully a little time saver for you. Again, here's another one of those little stragglers. I'm gonna get a probably a 10 point brush to, to just draw that out there okay okay so the fence is pretty much set there let's just save this real quick and the next step here is to actually come to your layer here so you can toggle this on and off but let's just go and let's alpha to selections. So it's going to get all the things that we've drawn on top here and it's going to make a selection out of it. So alpha to selection. If you zoom in here, you can see that all the pen marks are selected now. You can even toggle this off if you want. And then just make sure that you're on the layer where your actual image is and you should have been hopefully drawing on this other layer the whole time. And if we come now, we can use our new filters so let's go up to our filters let's go to enhance and let's do heal selection so I'm gonna leave the defaults here for now and we'll see how this looks with the defaults and then we can adjust these if we have to 
Oh no, so okay, so we have an error here. Let's see what's going on here. Error calling for procedure not found. Well, let's see if we can find out somebody else having the same issue. Looks like we can get these plugins via the GIMP plugin repository. So let's try to actually come in here and let's get out of this error message for now. And let's instead, and let's go to edit preferences. And let's go to our folders here. Let's go to our plugins and let's just open this folder up again. Now I want to remove the plugins that we added previously. So I'm going to do that by just, I'm going to open a second window here, our downloads, and I'm just going to move these plugin files back into that section just so these don't conflict with anything that we're installing now. So we can close out of GIMP for now. Let's come back here. Let's close out. Let's discard any changes we made. I have a saved local copy. And then let's run the GIMP Sorry, let's run the apt install GIMP plugin registry. Okay, now let's go back to our, our work in progress that we have. And let's take a look here. So we remove those filters. So if we come to enhance now, these filters here, since we removed the ones from ours, should be coming from that package. So let's try to run this again with those new filters. So let's go to alpha to selection on the layer where our drawing was. And then let's select this layer here and then let's go to filters, enhance, and let's try to heal selection again. Let's leave the defaults and run that. Okay, that completed this time. So I, I sped it up about seven, Ish minutes on my end. It was a little slower, so I sped through so you didn't have to sit through it. But let's take a look and see how this actually worked. So I'm going to scroll in and hold control. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to, first I'm going to control A to get rid of the selection. So you can see the fence is removed for the most part. So that did work. There's, I can, when I zoom in, I can tell there's some sketchy sections here, like around the eyes where the fence is kind of messed up. But Overall, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I was able to remove all that with, you know, a, an okay level of effort. So, um, again, you can see some patches over here. And I think mostly this has to do with how hastily I was drawing some of this stuff. It probably could be better if you spent a little more time on it. Now, overall, I think that's a pretty good job. I think, you know, the next step would be coming in here and just fixing sections. So you could actually come through here and you could use something like the heel tool. So we have to first select a heel source. So you do that by control clicking and you can see that down here gives you a little help. Control click to set a new heel source. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click right near the area that I'm trying to fix and then you can kind of click and move to, to fix this area and you could do that like that. So that that makes it look a lot better. That's hard to distinguish that that is incor was incorrect at one point, especially when you zoom out, you really won't notice something like that. So you can go around and you can fix a lot of these sections in the same way. So again, you might come up to something like this and you, you again, control click to get the source here. So I'm gonna control click and then I can kind of smooth this out. I can control click here, smooth that stuff. So you can get rid of a lot of those blemishes manually there if you have to do something like that. So hopefully that's enough to kind of get you going with these tools. They're pretty amazing uh, that you can do all this stuff with, with these free and open source tools. Um, so yeah, sorry to send everyone down a, a wild goose chase installing the plugin manually. Uh, if you're on Ubuntu at least, uh, the best way to do it is to actually come back here and make sure you're running that uh, that in app install of the git plugin registry and let me just make this bigger so people can see it so that's the way you really want to install the tools and, and that's at least the way it was working on my machine and then from there you can you can go and you can 
remove some of those images and heal them uh, manually and, and really correct your, your photos and do some cool manipulations with it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the near future. All right, bye.